we have one of our strongest champions and supporters for creating a healthy Richmond, our very own mayor, Gail McLaughlin. This and to all of you for coming out. You know, it's our plight in Richmond, our collective plight being in the shadow of this big refinery that binds us. And it drives us, it drives us to continue to struggle for justice. And that's why uh, today is so important. It brings people together, it brings the community together to tell Chevron why they need to do better by us. They need, we need a full, full investigation with full accountability and transparency from them as to the cause of this fire, this, this series of explosion and this, this uh, rain of black cloud and toxins over our heads yesterday. It's essential that we call for this and I also want to see an independent analysis. I know we have wonderful uh, groups that do such scientific analysis like Communities for a Better Environment. There's people at UC Berkeley that um, the community offers its analysis by way of its throat problems, its asthma problems, and you know the, the way this situation impacted all of us, all of you. That's really what we need to we need to have Chevron understand. Um, it's really important that you raise your voices, you continue to stand for environmental justice, you continue to stand for economic justice, because Chevron, of course, let's not forget, uh, keeps appealing its property taxes as if they are exempt from paying their fair share. So thank you all. I'm not going to take up much time. I know you got other people to speak, but I'm here with you. I'm in the, the town hall meeting. I'm in conversations with Chevron, and I'm telling them they got to do right by the community of Richmond.